Here's your wrestling news for November 7th, 2021. And your headlines for today include Braun Strowman invites Karrion Cross to control his narrative after WWE release. Karrion Cross had backstage heat prior to WWE release. Released WWE wrestler already making big deals. WWE gives NXT referee Paige's name, Paige Reacts. WWE announces superstars in men's and women's Survivor Series matches. Triple H's in-ring future in Jeopardy, possible retirement plans. Tony Khan fires back at fan accusing him of bribing journalists to cover AEW. Yet another released WWE superstar says she is broken after WWE release. Izzy's father called out for bullying WWE superstars and more. We are kicking off today with Karrion Cross, who was released from WWE this week after an underwhelming call-up to Monday Night Raw. After dominating NXT, becoming a two-time NXT champion, Cross was called up without Scarlett, with a new entrance and costume that failed to win over fans. Now Cross will have to wait out his non-compete clause, but we may already know where he'll be appearing when the time is right. On Instagram, Braun Strowman used Cross's TikTok catchphrase and invited the former NXT champion to a future Free the Narrative event. These events, organized by fellow WWE releasee EC3, are about wrestlers reinventing themselves post-WWE, and time will tell if Cross takes the former Universal Champion up on his offer. Cross's release this week came before he could be reunited with his fiancée Scarlett on the main roster, as the two made a great team in NXT. We are now learning more about Cross's main roster run, as Fightful Select reports that his repackaging wasn't his idea at all, and he's already trashed the new attire he received, calling the helmet a piece of shit to a fan on Twitter. It was also reported that there were some in WWE who pulled for Scarlett to be called up and join her fiancé, but that obviously didn't happen. It adds that there were plans to change up Cross's character yet again prior to his release, but that the former two-time NXT champion reportedly had heat backstage. That heat didn't stop several people pleading with WWE internally to do better with his booking and character, which all came to nothing in the end. It's been reported that the vaccine status of superstars was a factor in the release, as unvaccinated performers wouldn't be able to wrestle in certain places where vaccines are required, and international travel would also be very difficult. Although Cross has liked anti-vaccine posts in the past, there's no confirmation that his release was due to his vaccination status, as WWE told everyone the standard reason of budget cuts were to blame. After being released, the former NXT champion dropped a cryptic video, which was well produced and includes a drone shot, and his caption, I heard you all the entire time, seems to be responding to fans who for months spoke about Cross's talents being wasted in WWE. We have to wonder whether this footage was laying around or if Cross himself only filmed it after being released, but either way, it's a sign we haven't heard the last of him. But where would you like to see Cross go next? Let us know in the comments down below. Cross's fiance Scarlett Bordeaux was also cut from WWE this week, and although she'll have to wait out a 30-day non-compete clause before she can wrestle again, that's not kept the smoke show from making other deals. Taking to Twitter, Scarlett showed that she was taking her release well, as she said that less than 24 hours after being cut, she's already organized a magazine cover and was discussing potential clothing lines. These deals are something she would have never been able to do in WWE after the company implemented a strict ruling last year, outlawing third-party deals. Scarlett has also teased opening an OnlyFans, asking fans to blink twice if they want to see her create an account, an idea countless fans were enthusiastically on board with. It's never fun to lose your job, especially this close to the holidays, but Scarlett is making the best of things and making a lot of important connections and deals before she can wrestle again. In 2018, Paige was forced to retire from the ring after a series of neck injuries cut her career short. Since then, the former Divas champion has been adamant that she'll one day return to the ring, but has reportedly been denied repeatedly by Bruce Prichard. Now Paige has returned to the ring, though not the way she hoped, as her name is being used for an NXT referee. From now on, Chloe Christmas, who officiates for NXT and 205 Live, will now go by the name Paige, a decision WWE made within the last few days. This name change was confirmed on social media when the referee made the changes to her accounts and encouraged fans to follow her new Instagram profile. 
Reacting in a tweet, the former WWE superstar tagged the new page and posted the identical Spider-Man pointing at each other meme, which could be interpreted in many ways. Page, the wrestler that is, hasn't wrestled in WWE since a Boxing Day 2017 house show, and if she ever does get one last match, she may have that match called by WWE's newest Page. Survivor Series news now and between Crown Jewel 2021, the recent draft, and the more recent releases, WWE has had little time to push this month's pay-per-view. Thankfully, the company has finally started promoting what is meant to be one of their four biggest shows of the year, as several matches were confirmed last night. On social media, WWE announced that the Men's Raw Survivor Series team will consist of Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, and the Mysterios, who will face SmackDown's Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Sami Zayn, and Happy Corbin. Raw's women's team will consist of Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Queen Zelina, who will face Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, Natalya, and Aaliyah. It's been reported that Crown Jewel and the preparation for that event is what held up the Survivor Series promotion, but we finally have a match card coming together. During SmackDown, Roman Reigns entered the feud between The New Day and The Usos, which will likely build to his Champion vs. Champion match against Big E. These Survivor Series team announcements should have been made on TV, not via a series of tweets, but fans can finally expect some storylines to take shape after these announcements. NXT won't be a part of this year's Survivor Series, meaning we won't be seeing Triple H on TV, and it appears that his in-ring days are officially over. The game's last high-profile match happened at Survivor Series 2019 where he faced Randy Orton, and other than a last-minute appearance on Raw earlier this year, the game hasn't competed on television since. In the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer revealed that Triple H hasn't returned to work since his recent heart surgery, and that he may only have one match left in him. He writes, I wouldn't expect Triple H to ever wrestle again, although it is possible he may do one retirement match if he feels the need to leave on his own terms and doctors will clear him, but that's not likely to be for a long time, and he hasn't even returned to behind the scenes yet. Out of all his legendary rivals, the only two options still available to wrestle the game in his last match are John Cena and Randy Orton. But with Cena's star in Hollywood rising, movie producers will be more hesitant for him to compete and risk getting injured. There's always the chance that the game's last opponent is someone he's never faced before, but whoever Triple H picks, we're sure that the 14-time WWE World Champion will rightly receive a huge send-off. AEW news as the company has done a lot in the near three years since it was founded and earned themselves rave reviews by fans. Even the media has got on board with the all-elite company, but one fan thinks it's Tony Khan's money that's doing the talking, not his product. On Twitter, one fan blasted Khan as a quote, embarrassing human being, and claimed that the AEW president had been bribing journalists to write articles about AEW being a competitor to WWE. This person's alleged proof is that articles from the Washington Post, Variety, Forbes, Business Insider, and others all have similar content but Khan didn't take this accusation lying down, as he responded, You've totally busted me, Andrew09123. Clearly, I must have paid off Washington Post, Variety, Business Insider, plus Forbes to talk about how AEW is a great wrestling company bringing competition to the wrestling business. Or maybe they all saw what's happening and saw a good story? Between the past year and now having to work without Jon Moxley, AEW has had to overcome several obstacles on the road to success, all without Khan having to pay off those in the media. Back to WWE as Frankie Monet was cut from her contract this week, less than a year after signing with the company. Now she's broken her silence on her release and in a statement thanked WWE for allowing her to live her dream. With that said, Monet added that her run was more than disappointing, saying she's confused, hurt, sad, and mad at what has happened, and is leaving WWE a little broken. Thanking Shawn Michaels and Triple H for their guidance in NXT, Monet concluded that she knows she's a very, very good pro wrestler, and is ready to make magic in the next chapter of her life. It's assumed that Monet will revert back to the Taya Valkyrie name she made famous prior to WWE, and we'll have to see what the longest reigning Impact Knockouts Champion does next after her non-compete clause expires. In the early days of NXT, few names were more beloved than Izzy, the Bayley superfan who cheered for the hugger, but her parents are far more critical. 
When MSK were critical of a spot at a 2019 indie event where Izzy took a choke slam, her parents orchestrated a hate group against the pair, despite them being baby faces. Now, Lince Dorado has felt the wrath of Izzy's father, Cody Salagi, as after being released this week, the latter sarcastically wished Dorado luck in his future endeavors. Salagi quickly deleted the tweet, but not fast enough, as Dorado screenshotted the comment and gave a time and place for them to meet and talk. Chelsea Green, another 2021 WWE release, replied, saying that Silagi has a history of bullying wrestlers from afar and claimed Cody has taught his family to do the same. Dorado then added that he bought a ticket and a parking pass for Silagi, giving the father no excuse not to meet the former superstar face to face. Unsurprisingly, Silagi didn't show and instead issued an apology, calling it a rude, off the cuff remark to a talented performer. Salagi promptly deactivated his Twitter account, and after reportedly years of trashing wrestlers, Izzy's father finally knows what it's like when someone stands up to him. We've got some sad news now, as legendary wrestler Angelo Mosca has died aged 84. This was confirmed by his wife Helen, who said that Mosca died after a lengthy battle with Alzheimer's, and called him a loving husband, father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. Working in promotions including Maple Leaf Wrestling, Mid-Atlantic Wrestling, and the WWF, where he also did some announcing, Mosca retired from the ring in 1984, and we'd like to offer our condolences to his friends and family. And we're ending today with Chris Levin, a former Impact Wrestling referee who's facing allegations of misconduct. In a statement, Bonesaw Brooks claimed that during a six-year relationship with Levin, she was subject to verbal, emotional, financial, and sexual misconduct, and was convinced by Levin to keep quiet, telling her it was a private matter. This gaslighting made Brooks doubtful of her own memory, which she claims Levin used to excuse his own actions, claiming she was the problem and needed medicating. Brooks claims that when she tried to leave, Levin would block the exit and feared that him shouting would make others believe she was attacking him. Responding to the allegations, Levin denied that he manipulated Brooks sexually, but said that he was not always a good or kind boyfriend. Levin left Impact in December 2020 and now officiates on the indie scene, and it's for the best that the two are away from each other now. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.